So today I wanna to share some inner mouth tips that are a little bit more focused on the front of the mouth and the muscles around the front of the mouth area versus the jaw area, which is just really common when we think about inner mouth work, we think goes straight back to the jaw. So the area around the mouth can get super tight, super tense, which will lead to lack of oxygen, lack of blood flow, which then can reflect in fine lines, wrinkles, and just overall a receding of the mouth area, which isn't ideal for certain types of aging concerns. So here I'm starting out between between the nose and the corner of the mouth, just really working out that area. It is an area where lymph can drain and if fluid is getting held in that area, it will actually uh, create more of an appearance of the smile lines or nasal labial fold lines. So I just like to work that tissue, open up that area. Now I'm moving more towards the rhesaurus and the modiolus. So the rhesaurus I like to think of like the joker muscle, the smile muscle. So you can tell that I'm just really holding the skin taut from the inside of the mouth that way I can really work the tension and really work the muscles now I'm working a little bit further into the back of the mouth just some light palpation some soft tissue manipulation slightly opening up the area can actually make a really huge difference so again, back to the rosorius, back to the modiolus area at the corner of the mouth. This gets so tense, and if you've never had inner mouth work done, you'll definitely be able to feel it. It's definitely an area where my clients feel me really working out the tension the most. Now I'm working on the depressor area. So again, that if the depressors are super tight, it can kind of slightly pull down the mouth area and the corners of the mouth. So we really just wanna get the circulation going, the blood and energy flowing, because this will of course create more of a supple appearance around the mouth. It will open up the mouth area, open back up the lips as again, they can start to recede with aging or if there's tension in the mouth, we have a really tight mouth, um, you know, all of the things. We can also house a lot of emotion in this area if we're not necessarily speaking our truth, if we're holding back words. So we all know by now that the inner mouth work has tons of emotional components that go along to it, but I'll save that for another video. So leave me your questions below and I promise that you will feel much more open and relaxed by following this massage.